Now you guys know, I don't usually do this type of stuff, right? I mean, every once in a while, I'll pick up one of these larger plastic sets. Like when Cars on the Road first came out, I wanted to get some of those debut sets to review and show you guys, see if they're worth it or not. But this one here is the biggest exception of all time. I just could not resist this. I saw it in the store, well, I saw it online, then I saw it in a store, passed on it, and then I was like, wait, I need that. So I go back to the store, I get it, and I go back to the store after that, and they're all sold out. So I'm glad I got it, and I'll be showing you guys today if this is really worth it. I mean, I think it will be, because it comes with not only a exclusive Color Changers Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, but also the first ever color changing Mac. As you can see, I assume these bolts will change from green to yellow as shown on the box along with the Rusty's decal on this cap. This set just looks great all around. I can't wait to you know mess around with it and have some fun with you guys. But yeah, this is the mobile paint shop Mac for the Color Changers line, a brand new release for 2024 being found at Target stores across the US. It's actually super funny because in the hunt, the episode that you will see next coming out is yet to come out. I find this in a store and I say, that looks cool. I just want the McQueen though. I don't want the rest of it. And then I literally go around, I turn my bag. I'm like, nope, never mind. I want that. So just know when you see that episode of The Hunt that I completely changed my mind. Plus, someone told me, hey, dude, like, the Mac changes color, too. Like, you kind of need that, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but this truly does look like a super unique set. Cannot wait to get into it. As you can see on the front here, it all folds, unfolds, and expands. It actually... I really like that, includes a bunch of other characters, reminds me of old sets. That Sally looks super weird though with the unpainted wheels and a different expression. And over here, it's like her wheels are so, they're like white, even though I know they shouldn't be. It's like they turned down the opacity on her, but made her wheels white and tires. You have the older brand new Mater, the purple to green one. I actually saw this one on the pegs today. Super weird because it is quite old and they have the new one out now that changes to green. And you have the exclusive Rusty's Racing Center, Lady McQueen up top, little picture, Ramon and Guido up there. Of course, there's Mac. And so, yeah, it's interesting that just his stickers change colors, whereas all of McQueen and, well, most color changers would but i am excited nonetheless i wouldn't expect a full-on mac to necessarily change colors that sounds like asking for too much on the back here or on the side rather you could see more angles of mcqueen changing colors along with looks like maybe a fan that would dry him off and a little paintbrush taking a look at all the features here on the back we have a squeegee so i guess it was not a paintbrush it's a squeegee dripping the water on McQueen and Mac to change the colors. A buffer, we have the dryer, so it was a fan. So it's kind of like a car wash, that makes sense. And then spray paint, in quotes, that's interesting. There is Rusty's Racing Center McQueen all in his red. There is the blue, which is going to be the cold color. Very cool, this is the first time I've gotten one of these color changer sets. They've done quite a few as I you know, have had to get some of the exclusive McQueens over the years, being the Dynaco McQueen that they did, along with a fabulous Lightning McQueen as well. Really kind of snuck under the radar that they're doing so many different McQueens in these sets as exclusives. They don't really call attention to it as being like exclusive to the set. They probably should. I feel like if they did, I would have bought those other sets that the aforementioned McQueens are in. And there is the whole set kind of all together. It actually looks really sweet to see Mac folded up, kind of like the Sand Racers, the Fireball Beach Mac, the Ice Racers Mac that another brand did. Of course, the Disney Store Carnival Carbon Racer Max. Mac really gets toyed around with a lot. But yeah, I will be right back with this all opened up. If we could figure out, it looks like there's a little perforation over here. That's the word. All right, cue the time lapse.
That was pretty easy to open, I will say. And before we get wet and wild with it, you know, I get the water in the canister, I just want to take a look and review it for what it is, which looks like a really nice set. I love the presentation of it all, like I said, with this Rusty's Racing Center McQueen art that they have going from blue to red. That's a really cool vibe. Not to mention they have the Rusty's text in the background going from green to yellow, along with the number just like how Mac will change and shift colors when we get to him. So really cool, really creative, and yeah, it rolls. I would not have expected that. I honestly thought they would just kind of make the wheels stationary. You have the Rusty's logo engraved onto the roof here, along with the bolt and 95 on the other side. I don't even know how this all, oh, yep, that would make sense. And you have Ramon and Guido up there, all in Ramon's kind of house of body art type of vibe you have this other bolt over here okay so that'll move the ramp we have this paint shop support here that'll looks like it'll connect into this i haven't looked at the instructions yet yeah so that just popped right out of the hinge so yep there you go so that will support that really cool even looks good from the back side it's like there's even some storage over here you could like put the guido in there Really cool, guys. So let's take a look at McQueen here. I love the new expression that they gave him. They honestly do that for a bunch of the McQueens. Let's take a look at the other exclusives I was talking about. Here is the Dynaco one, even though it's in the Cars 3 model for McQueen. This one's really cool, going from black to blue. I'm also just glad that they're in their color-shifted stages right now. Except for Fabulous McQueen here. He goes from blue to red, but he is in his blue right now. And he's got a much bigger mouth than the Rusty's Racing Center version. Smaller eyes that look kind of ugly. So, definitely prefer this. Cannot wait to see it shift. I'm sure it will be pretty good. Although the red looks a little lighter. It doesn't look as bright as you may expect for a McQueen. And then here is Mac. So this is going to be a little bit bigger than your typical die-cast Mac you get with the hauler. But still looks really good. Pretty much in scale with everything. You have the bolt on the side, the Rusty's text on the cap. Now, Mattel has not done a die-cast version of just Rusty's Racing Center Mac. They've done Jocko Flacco Mac, which is basically Rusty's Racing Center Mac, just with the disguise on. So you can't really fully see how he looks like, you know, just normally, right? So, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. There's so many variants of Mac that they could do from Cars 3 that they have not tapped into, whether it be the Rusty's version from the beginning of the movie, the Rusty's Racing Center version, and then the Dynaco Cruise one from the end. I'm going to interject here and show you some of those other versions that we're talking about of Rusty's Racing Center Mac here. So, of course, on the left, you have the officially released Jocko Flacco Mac that they did as a Walmart exclusive a while back. I think it was like 2018. Pretty rare these days. They did do him as a just single deluxe, but that was only released internationally. And he was in an uber rare three pack as well, I believe, with some random characters. So yeah, Jocko Flacco Mac has gone around a little bit, but all of the releases were very rare. But as you can see here, everything's pretty much covered up except for the lightning bolt on the side that is in like an orangish yellow. And then you can kind of see the edges of it around the bottom there and then clear as day on the back. So they are capable of doing a Rusty's Racing Center Mac. It's funny that they did the Jocko Flacco one before the just bare one. I mean, both would have been good choices, obviously. It's kind of like Alexander Hugo with Party Hat type of situation. And then there's this factory custom version that I like quite a bit that has the logo on the cap going for it, the Rusty's logo, but it puts the number on the side in the gold foil instead of the bolt. It's also got a just, oh my God, the expression will give you nightmares. I can't, oh my God, we gotta stop, we gotta stop, 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 stop. It's weird that they decided to go about making all these non-canon haulers like Marty Hauler, which I know they had to do to maintain that Walmart sponsorship, but the Dynaco Cruise Hauler, which I'm glad that we finally got because it was canceled so much, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Let's take a look at the instructions here real quick. I'll just briefly skim through this in case you guys need it for reference at any point. There are the contents. It shows you how to assemble everything, so let's actually do that. We can put the squeegee in. Looks easy enough. I do like that there's not much assembly involved here at all. 
and that will just turn in there. Wow, that could not have been any easier. Get ready to play. See, yeah, like you're already ready to go. I guess we need to put the buffer on. Where does it tell you how to put the buffer? No, this isn't the buffer. Oh, is this the paint? Oh, this is like a separate paint can. I thought this was the buffer for a second. I don't know why I thought that. So that will slide in there. That's awesome, guys. So yeah, it shows you the exact temperatures and everything in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So you want to fill this with cold water and obviously the orange one with red hot water. That would make sense. It's very intuitive. Lift and lock. So we could do that now actually while we're just in our preliminary stages here. So this will go up here and yeah, it actually, well, I'm not really feeling much of a lock. Oh, there it is. You just got to bring it up all the way. What is this down here for? It's like another canister. I wonder what kind of water you put in there. So it shows you how to dry, brush. There's a ramp back here. Oh, yeah, that looks great with a little arrow. It's cute. <laughs> I need to know what that bottom canister is for exactly, what they want you to do with that. So yeah, it shows you how to use the paint can. It kind of reminds me of those two packs that they did with the pitties a while ago. So yeah, we're going to use that to spray and change the colors on Mac and McQueen. Huh, I don't know what that's for down there. It's like they want you to put like some other water in there, but they're not telling you. Oh, here we go. Have you move this out? Huh, there's so many arrows going all over. This is like the Charlie Day meme. Drain, rinse, clean, and dry all items thoroughly before storing. Yeah, you don't want it to get moldy. Oh, I think that's just like, that's, so he dries there, right? And then like the residual water just goes down into it and then you dump it out. I think that's just, yeah, for like residual water. That's actually pretty creative. Because you know he will drip a lot of water while he's on that. And that's why they put the slats in the ramp there. That actually makes a lot of sense. I like that quite a bit. All right. So I will go fill these up with water and we'll be right back. All right. We are locked and loaded. Now you would think that you could dunk McQueen into these buckets. And you probably can. But that's not exactly what they are intended for. They are intended for you to soak up the water with this thing and then paint the car as you know to simulate the full on paint house body of art experience that we got going on here in this cross hybrid of Ramon's house of body art and Max trailer. I have a bunch of ice in this one so it's blocking McQueen from going fully in there. But yes, let's just get on with it. Let's just rip and have fun. I brought out the Mater that they showed on the back of the package along with Doug Crankle and Diana Curdado might be hiding around here somewhere as well. So we're gonna soak up some water in this thing. I assume you just dip it in there and squeeze. Would be my best guess. Cause it is kind of similar to, like I said, these pities where they would fill up this huge tank or at least try to fill up some of it with water and then you would spray the car you know, this one is Cruz Ramirez's pity, so you would spray her with the pity by squeezing the barrel here. So let's see if I got any out of that. Uh, not really. <laughs> My goodness, how do you fill this thing up? It seems a little flimsy. All right, we're looking at the instruction manual here. We're looking at the instruction manual here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pump and splash icy water, and it says right up here. All right, pump and splash. Yeah, so that's what I was doing, was I not? I was pumping it. We will try and pump harder. All right, we're, yeah, we're pumping harder this time. No more messing around. Pump harder. All right, let's see what we got going on here. There we go, we got some. <laughs> We're not getting exactly what we want, though. 
We want a direct stream. And guys, I'm gonna try and make this as raw as possible. You know, uncut footage. It's not always, you know, lollipops and candies with these play sets. You gotta really work it out. I mean, they never work as well as the box advertises. You know, you can see it's squirting out a little bit, but I feel like I'm not filling it up enough to get it to do that full on stream. Oh, we're spilling that a little bit. All right, come on. Oh yeah, we're spilling a lot. Let's see if we can get Mater going here. Oh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. We got a lot more colder water. Then we did warm water. And right, we're going back to the warm water. Try that out a little bit. I'm a little disappointed so far with the paint gun. It just doesn't seem to be so... Oh, yeah, we got a stream there. So, yeah, it just doesn't soak up as much water as I really would like. I feel like I got a lot there for a second. I'm missing with my spraying here. It's not coming out as cleanly as I would like. I feel like I have a lot in it right now. Oh, there it is, guys. There it is. All right. We figured it out. We figured it out. So what you want to do is you want to put this in there and squeeze it from the top and bottom like once. You'll feel when it gets kind of tighter, right? You can feel some water in there. And then there you go. <laughs> God, now we got a direct stream. That's what we're looking for. And yeah, McQueen looks pretty good. This is not the pure red, like a cherry red or metallic red, like we're necessarily used to, but it looks different. And I'm honestly kind of here for that. If I could just have better aim, it's coming out a lot higher than I'm anticipating, but I'm also looking at it through the camera frame. So maybe if I go like this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this thing is erratic. Nope. Oh my God, I just got a bunch of stuff wet that I did not want to get wet. That was not ideal, guys. Holy cow, that sprayed so far away. Holy cow. Look at this. Just got my nice Motorama Girl sign, my custom-made sign wet. I'm sure it'll dry and be fine, but damn. That's got some range on it. <laughs> All right, we've regrouped. We're going to dip him in there. I just want to see what he looks like in full pink slash red. Looks really good. It's a nice softer color. Like I said, different from what we're used to with Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. So I am down for that because we have seen him plenty of times in that metallic red. So this looks really interesting, really good. Made in Vietnam? Yep, made in Vietnam on the 269th day of 2023. So quite a while ago, actually. They did not get this out very early. I would have expected if he was made then, he would have gone out at least in January, maybe even before that. All right, so I'm not super big on this still. It's not as functional as I would like. I mean, yeah, you can see, you can get a good stream going sometimes, but it's not as consistent. I mean, it is just a piece of rubber, right? Like, it's not like mechanical or there's any technology going on here. Like, it literally is just, yeah, we're just squeezing water into a rubber bin, basically. But it's still a blast. All right, we got Mac here. And yeah, we're going to get wet and wild. We're going to get slippery with Mac here for sure. We're not going to hold up on him at all. Let's do the squeegee though. I kind of feel like this could be fun. We take the squeegee out here. This is not supposed to be like a paintbrush though. But I don't know. I just feel like maybe we could. No, that eh, maybe a little bit. I just want to see how it kind of vibes. Mm, not really. All right. 
feel like I still have some water in here. All right, yeah, as you can see, we're almost, we're doing a dent on this warm water here. See what we could do on Mac, see if we could do some damage on him. I wonder what color, what temperature is needed to get him the change here, actually. I don't want to spray over on my precision series sets, though. would rather not. Oh my god, I just did exactly that. God, it came out so fast. God, see, I am not in love with this thing. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. There we go. All right, is it turning yellow a little bit? Doesn't look as green as it was originally. Nope, no water, no love. Oh my goodness, guys. And see, how about we use this, actually? Because I know, at least with this, I got to the point where I got pretty good at it. But this also was not the most consistent thing in the world, for sure. God. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've made the decal yellower for sure, except on the tip here. It's not all the way yellow. I feel like the water might be cooling down. That might be the problem. But we do want to get these bolts here on the side from the green they are now to this yellow here. So we're going to work on that. Okay, so I just ran Mac under hot water because we were not able to change them with this or with Cruz Ramirez's pity. And you can see now that definitely is the yellow that is supposed to be. It does change pretty well, just like a normal color changer would. I do wish that they maybe gave him a little bit more, like maybe make the body of him, like maybe just this front portion change, maybe even just the hat. But they just went for these color changing stickers. But I understand it though, at the end of the day, it is kind of cool to see him with green decals. I'll try and get back to that for the thumbnail of this video. But at the end of the day, like it's a fun set, right? But it just does not work as well as I would like. And maybe I'm just incompetent, but then at the end of the day, like I feel like you need better instructions. But again, also at the end of the day, this is just, again, a piece of rubber. So you can't expect it to be perfect every time. And we have shown that we can get a really good stream out of it. We just don't always know which way it's going. See, that's pretty good right there. Like that is what's intended for. That's exactly what it's shown on the box can do. But you don't get that result every time. You know, here it's definitely a little bit of a weaker stream that I just got there. But anyways, we're going to take a closer look here at the functionality of the playset or track set, whatever. You know, this video is not made for kids, so we don't really want to use the word playset. But we're going to bring down the ramp, get McQueen up there, let him drip on into the residual bin below, bring him up here. So yeah, I guess you can 100% still dunk him because that is the point of this ramp here that we finally got to lock. So we can kind of drive on in. There we go. That's fun. He's all blue now. He's swimming with the ice the ice fishes and if he wants to go back to red he could just you know reverse on back into this bin which is cooled off a little bit for sure yeah that water is not even yeah when he just was in the cold water and then went into the lukewarm water there was no effect there at all so it's definitely easier to keep water cold with ice than to keep it warm it's not like there's an anti-ice cube you know what maybe that's a good idea for an invention make like an anti-ice cube something that keeps water warm but then people just use like those thermal mugs or whatnot so i don't know but yeah let's get on up here with the squeegee let's take a look and see how this all operates i like how it just easily goes in and you know, i guess you're just you know like at the gas station where you could pull the squeegees out and you know use both sides to wipe off your windshield and then also dry it well, that's an interesting concept for sure All right, slot that back on in there. And then he goes over to the buffer. You know, brush him off a little bit. 
though it doesn't go down all the way. It slides up and down. Oh, here we go. There's, yeah, there's actually a good amount of mobility to this. Zoom in here on that. Yeah, so you can go down all the way and then the wheel will touch. McQueen, it does have the right height. You can see how it's getting right on his roof there. And you could kind of bring it down. But yeah, the height is a little off for his hood. And if you bring a bigger car up here, like a Mater, for example, you could you know, move the height up on the buffer. And then yeah, Mater is absolutely no problem at all getting some action with the buffer there. So that's pretty nice. I feel like they've done similar things like this in the past with other sets. Doesn't seem like the first time, but the squeegee does feel a little bit newer in terms of a concept. And you can see they do mark them with engravings on the plastic here. And then here we have the dryer. That's actually really cool. I like the arrows they do there and then the heat waves for the dryer. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm a little bit more excited here to get him up with the dryer. Now, again, in terms of functionality, how much does it dry him off? Does it really dry him off much at all? And we could all just pretend. It's a really cool feature though, I will say. That's awesome. Face the other way. So McQueen's had quite a blaster, I will say. Bro's getting absolutely pampered on this Mac. That is for sure. And gets back down on this. All the way back down to the bottom. And he could travel on this too. Like he's going to his next race. I mean, he could take a bath. He can get into the hot tub. You know, he's got the whole squeegee. I mean, he's got the whole shebang, the whole king caboodle, the whole service inside Mac here. I mean, Ramon and Guido are here as well. It's wild. And yeah, Mayor can come up and join him as well. It's actually a really awesome set in terms of how they thought it out. See if we have any water left in this bad boy. Nope. So we'll just slide that back in there where that belongs. Really good stuff. Yeah, we could put Doug Crankle up here. Deanna's hiding back here as well. And of course, this all connects to Mac. Would rather if I did not spill a ton by doing this. So we're going to do it gently. And there you go. Clicks right into place. And you are good to travel on to your next race. So yeah, what the hell else do I have to say? Not really much. This was a fun set for sure. I wish the paint spraying, quote unquote paint spraying, aka the water spraying with this thing was a little bit better. But again, I understand why it is that way. You get some really cool exclusives though. Like this McQueen is awesome. A great color changer that I'm sure would sell very well as just a normal single. I think all of these would, you know, the Dynaco McQueen, the Fabulous McQueen would, and certainly this one. They really slip under the radar because honestly, like I barely even knew about the other ones. And I know I see them all the time when I'm at Target, but I just kind of rule the place that's out in my head where I really shouldn't be. I mean, you got to give them some credence because this one is pretty badass. I will give it all of the credit in the world for creativity, including some good exclusives like the Mac as well. That's just awesome, a color changing Mac. Just wish it lived up a little bit more to how it advertised it working on the box. But yeah guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you intend to pick up this set down below. And we'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.